Chapter 8 All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may loo, and multiply, and go in, and possess the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness, to humble thee, and to prow thee, to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments, or no. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know, that man doth not loo by bread only, but by Uri word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man loo. Thy remen waxed not old fond thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart, that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains, and depths that spring out of valleys and hillies, a land of wheat, and barley, and vines, and fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of oil oleo, and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarcens, thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God, for the good land which he hath Jew in thee. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God, in not keeping his commandments, and his judgments, and his statutes which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full, and hast built goodly houses, and dwelt therein, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted VP, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents, and scorpions, and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee, to do thee good at thy latter end, and thou say in thine heart, My power, and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that jeweth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his quenant, which he swear of unto thy fathers, as it is this day. And it shall, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and sarah them, and worship them, I testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish. As the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face, so shall ye perish, because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Chapter 9 Hear, O Israel, are to pass a are hired in this day, to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great, and fenced VP to hewin, a people great and tall, the children of the Anakims, whom thou knowest, and of whom thou hast heard say. Who can stand before the children of Anak? Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth o'er before thee. As a consuming fire, he shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face, so shalt thou dry them out, and destroy them quickly, as the Lord hath said unto thee. Speak not thou in thine heart. After that the Lord thy God hath cast them out from before thee, saying, For my righteousness the Lord hath brought me in to possess this land, but for the wickedness of these nations, the Lord doth dry them out from before thee, not for thy righteousness or for the brightness of thine heart. Dost thou go to possess their land, but for the wickedness of these nations the Lord thy God doth dry them out from before thee and that he may perform the word which the Lord swear vento thy fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Understand therefore that the Lord thy God guideth thee not this good land to possess it, for thy righteousness, for thou art a stiff-necked people. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness, from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt, until ye came vento this place, Ye how been a rebellious against the Lord. Also in Horeb ye provoked the Lord to wrath, so that the Lord was angry with you, to how destroyed you. 
When I was gone VP into the mount, to receive the tables of stone, you and the tables of the covenant which the Lord made with you, then I abode in the mount forty days, and forty nights, I neither did eat bread, nor drink water. And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone, written with the finger of God, and on them was written according to all the words which the Lord spake with you in the mount, out of the midst of fire, in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass a at the end of forty days, and forty nights, that the Lord got me the two tables of stone, you and the tables of the covenant. And the Lord said unto me, Rise, get thee down quickly from hence, for thy people which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt, how corrupted them sell use. they are quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them, they how made them a molten image. Furthermore, the Lord spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name from Venderhoan. And I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. So I turned and came down from the mount, and the mount burned with fire, and the two tables of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a molten calf. Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. And I took the two tables, and cast them out of my two hands, and brake them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord, as at the first, forty days and forty nights, I did neither eat bread nor drink water, because of all your sins which ye sinned, in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger, and who displeasure wherewith the Lord was wroth against you, to destroy you. But the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. And the Lord was very angry with Aaron, to how destroyed him. And I prayed for Aaron also the same time. And I took your sin, the calf which he had made, and burned it with fire, and stamped it, and ground it very small, even until it was as small as dust. And I cast the dust thereof into the brook that descended out of the mount. And at Tabra, and at Massa, and at Kibroth Hatoa, he provoked the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you from Kadesh Barna, saying, Go VP and possess the land which I howed you in you. Then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and ye believed him not, nor hearkened to his voice. You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I fell down before the Lord forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at the first, because the Lord had said, He would destroy you. I prayed therefore of unto the Lord, and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance which thou hast redeemed through thy grace, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Iacob, look not unto the stubbornness of this people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin, lest the land whence thou broughtest verses out say, because the Lord was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he hath brought them out, to slay them in the wilderness. Yet they are thy people, and thine inheritance which thou broughtest out by thy mighty power, and by thy stretched out arm. Chapter 10 At that time the Lord said Vento me, Hew thee two tables of stone, like Vento the first, and come VP Vento me into the mount, and make thee an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables which thou breakest, and thou shalt put them in the ark. And I made an ark of shittim wood, and hewed two tables of stone like Vento the first, and went VP into the mount, hoeing the two tables in mine hand. And he wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spake Vento you in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly, and the Lord got them Vento me. And I turned myself and came down from the mount, and put the tables in the ark which I had made, and there they be, as the Lord commanded me. And the children of Israel took their yearning from Beareth, of the children of Iachan, to Mosira, there Aaron died, and there he was buried. And Eleazar his son ministered in the priest's office in his stead. From thence they yearned into Gajoda, and from Gajoda to Iadbath, a land of riers of waters. At that time the Lord separated the tribe of Louis to bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, to stand before the Lord, 
to minister vento him and to bless in his name vento this day. Wherefore Louis hath no part nor inheritance with his brethren, the Lord is his inheritance, according as the Lord thy God promised him. And I stayed in the mount, according to the first time, forty days and forty nights, and the Lord hearkened vento me at that time also, and the Lord would not destroy thee. And the Lord said, Ventomi, Arise, take thy yearning before the people, that they may go in, and possess the land which I swear Vento their fathers to Juvento them. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his wise, and to loo him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord, and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the hewn, and the hewn of Hoans is the Lord's thy God, the earth also, with all that therein is. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers, to loo them, and he chose their seed after them, you and you, above all people, as it is this day. Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no more stiff-necked. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty, and a terrible which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. He doth execute the judgment of the fatherless, and widow, and looeth the stranger, enjoying him food and raiment. Loo ye therefore the stranger, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, him shalt thou seru, and to him shalt thou clo, and swear by his name. He is thy praise, and he is thy God that hath done for thee these great and terrible things, which thine eyes have seen. Thy fathers went down into Egypt with threescore and ten persons, and now the Lord thy God hath made thee as the stars of Hoan, for multitude. Chapter 11 Therefore thou shalt loo the Lord thy God, and keep his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commandments alway. And know you this day, for I speak not with your children which how not knowing and which how not seen the chastisement of the Lord your God, his greatness, his mighty hand, and his stretched out arm, and his miraculous, and his acts, which he did in the midst of Egypt, vindo Pharaoh the king of Egypt, and vento all his land, and what he did vento the army of Egypt, vento their horses, and to their chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you and how the Lord hath destroyed them vento this day. And what he did vento you in the wilderness, till ye came into this place. And what he did vento Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab the son of Reuben, how the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them vp, and their households, and their tents, and all the substance that was in their possession in the midst of all Israel. But your eyes have seen all the great acts of the Lord, which he did. Therefore shall ye keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that ye may be strong and go in, and possess the land whither ye go to possess it, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which the Lord swear vento your fathers to juvento them, and to their seed, a land that floweth with milk and honey. For the land whither thou goest in to possess it is not as the land of Egypt from whence he came out, where thou soutst thy seed, and waterest it with thy foot as a garden of herbs. But the land whither ye go to possess it is a land of hillies and valleys, and drinketh water of the rain of Hoan, a land which the Lord thy God careth for. The eyes of the Lord thy God are always upon it from the beginning of the year. You invento the end of the year. And it shall come to pass, say, if you shall hearken diligently vento my commandments, which I command you this day, to loo the Lord your God, and to serve him with all your heart, and with all your soul, that I will do you the rain of your land in his due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayst gather in thy corn, and thy wine, and thine oil. And I will send grass in thy fields for thy cattle, that thou mayst eat and be full. Take heed to your cellus, that your heart be not deceived, and ye turn aside, and sorrow other gods, and worship them. 
And then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and he shut VP the hoeing, that there be no rain, and that the land yield not her fruit, and lest ye perish quickly from off the good land which the Lord doeth you. Therefore shall ye lay VP these my words in your heart, and in your cell, and bind them for a sign on your hand, that they may be as frontlets between your eyes, and ye shall teach them your children, speaking of them, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou leest down, and when thou risest, VP, and thou shalt write them fond the dory posts of thine house, and fond thy gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children, in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to do them, as the days of Hoan fond the earth. For if ye shall diligently keep all these commandments which I command you to do them, lo the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, and to clove into him. Then will the Lord dry out all these nations from before you, and ye shall possess greater nations, and mightier than your cellules. Your replace whereon the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours from the wilderness and Lebanon from the river. The rye where Euphrates, you invento the termost sea, shall your coast be. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you, and the dread of you fawn all the land that ye shall tread fawn, as he hath said unto you. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing, if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you this day and a curse, if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way, which I command you this day, to go after other gods which ye have not known, and it shall come to pass a when the Lord thy God hath brought thee in, until the land whither thou gost to possess it, that thou shalt put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim, and the curse upon Mount Ebel, are they not on the other side Iredon, by the way where the sun goeth down, in the land of the Canaanites? which dwell in the champion or against Gilgal, beside the plains of Morah, for ye shall pass a or Iredon, to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God gave with you, and ye shall possess it, and dwell therein, and ye shall observe to do all the statutes and judgments which I set before you this day.